This is JB's Baseball Cards, here today with a card collection showcase of top Luis Robert cards. Uh, I got my cousin Bob here with me. I'd say I have the quantity and he has the quality. His top two Luis Robert cards are really sweet cards. So we'll see, uh, we'll, kind of, we'll kind of show you off some of the best ones. Most of them are rookie year cards. Kind of sad, he went down with a hip flexor strain and he'll be out three to four months. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Yeah, it's going to be tough for uh, people investing in his cards and just fans of the White Sox. I think the White Sox were predicted to do pretty well, but maybe not this year with him and Eloy Jimenez out. Yeah, that's a shame. But I'll go ahead and show off mine, and then we'll get to Bob's. Uh, he has less, but definitely uh, the higher-end cards for sure. Um, not in any particular order. Well, actually, I'll go ahead and show off what I got out front here first. These are all from 2021 Top Series 1. This one's my favorite I got, this Green Ice Parallel. Rookie Cup, uh, numbered uh, 499, really cool card. Um, the purple is uh, from a Meyer Blister pack, and also got a gold parallel, which is numbered out of 2021. I like the uh, I like the image they used because that's taken at Wrigley Field by the Ivy. Yeah, Ivy pictures are always really nice. Oh yeah, especially with that Rookie Cup, it really looks really cool. Oh yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and get started here. This is um, a fortune teller from Gypsy Queen. This was his first pack pull product that came out in March of 2020, for his rookie cards at least. Um, so definitely a cool one. I think I also have a base somewhere, but uh, don't have it on me right now. And I got some. I got a few gold label here. Gold label cards look really cool. They have two images of them. Um, this is a class one. Class one is the most common, followed by class two, and class three is the most rare. Uh, these kind of have a refractor foil shine on them. Really cool looking cards. This is a class two. And then also a class one black parallel, which is not numbered, but I guess it's just more rare than a regular class one card. Now we'll go into some more uh, from series one. This is a retail exclusive uh, 1952 chrome card refractor. Really cool. We pulled this in a video uh, from Bob's buddy, Blake's Tin. And uh, I guess Bob was happy about that. That uh, card will be mine. <laughs> Okay, now we get into some Chrome. Bob has a really good Chrome one. This is Chrome Update Series. This is rookie debut I got from a Mega Box, and also got this one from a Mega Box, which is I think a really cool card. This decades next, um, they did this insert series in Series One of 2020, um, but this was um, Chrome Update and really cool looking card. Decades next. Um, here's one of my favorite products of the year. Um, I think Bob's too, because especially because he pulled a really nice card from it. Oh yeah, uh, Stadium Club base card. Um, even though it's just a base, still really cool image. That's probably taken at spring training. I like the back of the Stadium Club card too, with the image of the player, um, and also kind of has like the image of a stadium. Yeah, it's really it's really on. unique. Definitely. All right, here are some of probably my higher end cards because they didn't print a ton of them. I got this, uh, this is from Top's Finest Flashbacks. Um, if you haven't already, check out my very first video on the channel. Probably pulled one of my biggest pulls ever uh, from the first pack and did really well with this product overall. Um, they didn't make a ton of these boxes, so I don't believe there are a ton of these cards out there. So probably one of his most uh, collectible rookie cards. Same with this uh, Ben Baller, Top's Chrome. A uh, really cool card. Just his regular Top's Chrome image but it's got like the ice on the side and the Ben Baller chain so really cool card there and I got just a few more here um, we got some one of my favorite another one of my favorite products is Heritage this these came from Heritage High Number the base card and also the Rookie Performers Rookie Performers I think is a really cool one there's the back of the base card so definitely got some cool ones there and then a couple more chrome here couple from Stadium Club and one from Bowman Chrome. I'll show off the Bowman Chrome first. Uh, this was actually pulled, I believe, uh, in a video that I posted on the channel um, where we were opening up some Bowman Chrome Mega Boxes and got these Stadium Club Chrome. That's the base, so that's the image from regular Stadium Club. They just made it in Chrome. And I really like this Beam Team. It's got a refractor shine on it. In regular Stadium Club, the Beam Team didn't look as cool, but I think in Stadium Club Chrome, they look really cool. And then finally, just the regular base from Series 2, um, regular base card, which 
uh, regular base cards from Series 1, 2, and Update Series have kind of uh, became more popular over the last few years. So that's definitely a cool card there. Yeah, it's definitely a good one to have. Number 392 in Series 2. All right, we'll go ahead and get into Bob's. And like I said, they were super, super nice. His, oh, yeah, his top two beat anything that I have by a mile. So oh, for sure. We'll see what he's got here. We're going to start off with uh, some uh, lower-end cards, but they're still pretty good. This is from uh, Topps Gallery. came out in late October. I got this out of a value pack. It's a really nice card, nice picture. Mm -hmm. um, Texture is yep. really nice, too. Yeah, Gallery's got some... Uh, Artist-drawn cards, and they're pretty cool. Yeah, and then uh, JB already showed this one off from uh, Bowman Chrome, the Mega Box, right? Mm -hmm. It's a nice card. And then I got this Turkey Red out of a uh, Topps Update series uh, a few months ago. It was the last one they had on the shelf in retail, which is pretty shocking. I can't find anything there in my local Walmart. But I ended up picking up that hanger box, and I got and I pulled this. It's a really nice card. I like the turkey reds a lot. I, I do know too. a lot of people like the 52 design cards, yeah. which are kind of the equivalent of turkey reds, but I like turkey reds better. They're really cool. Yeah, turkey red is a nice nice card. All right, here we go. Top right, two. Here's These my are top awesome. two. This came out of my first ever Topps Chrome Blaster Box. I bought it at my local hobby shop. Uh, Luis Robert Refractor. It's a really nice looking card. That's amazing. I know. It comes out actually really good on camera too. It really does. And out of that same box, I don't know if it's if it has any value, but Randy Arozarena's St. Louis Cardinal oh, rookie yeah. card. That has some value. I also got that. It's not a refractor or anything, but it's still cool to have. So the last one, um, JB and I went to our other local hobby or card shop, and he convinced me to get a single pack out of a uh, was it a hobby box? A yep, the hobby club. box stadium club. And this is what I pulled: a Luis Robert auto. That is amazing. Probably the best pull I have ever had in my whole card collecting years. Now, that's just from one single pack. Yeah, you didn't one get single any, pack. Got one pack. In a hobby box, there's two autographs in 16 packs. So you got lucky to get an autograph. I did. And then in, in most hobby boxes, you're not even going to get like a great autograph. Yeah, this was a fantastic autograph. That's I was so card. excited when I pulled this. And you're thinking about getting it graded, maybe, someday? I'm thinking about it. I'm not touching PSA right now. No, I mean... Or Beckett. It's it, just backed up Yeah, if so you much. tried submitting it now. I know PSA stopped taking orders, but it's going to be a year, year and a half. Yeah, but in the future, I'm definitely going to try to get this graded. But realistically, I paid $7 for this card. That's how much the single pack was, which is really cool. And did really well on it. So this was my best pull of 2020, this Lou Bob. That's, uh... That's definitely an amazing card. Stadium Club would probably be one of the top, you know, few products you would want an autograph oh, yeah. from your favorite player of. Just because the picture is so cool, the autograph itself is very clean, not streaky at all. Very cool, cool card all around. There. Yep, just a nice design, good pictures, quality product. I I definitely approve of Stadium Club. Yep, that's an awesome card. And sure is. Now that you like, this is what happened with me with Glaber Torres. I pulled a nice card out of him. Out of a product of his, I got a rookie red chrome card, uh, number to five. So I started collecting him, and I'm sure Bob's going to be uh, personally collecting Luis Robert cards as well. I'm a Cubs fan, but I am a fan of Lou Bob. Yep. I hate to say it, but... Yeah, too bad is uh, he's out for three to four months, probably close to the rest of the season. But uh, hopefully he comes back and uh, really shows off his power and speed. He's a big-time athlete, so... Uh, he's definitely going to be a fixture on the White Sox for years to come. Yeah, definitely looking forward to watching him throughout the years. All righty. Well, thanks for watching. Let us know what your favorite card was, maybe besides Bob's top two, because those were amazing. <laughs> um, but definitely had some other cool cards in here, and uh, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good day. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Go Cubbies.